So if you've watched my videos, you know that one of the tools that I use is the NIS Scaler, the OpenXR NIS Scaler tool. Well, that has been updated and it is now released as part of the OpenXR Toolkit Companion app. And I will put a link in the description below. One of the really nice features, well, there's two really. One of them is it gives you the ability to finally see a frame rate. You can see that in the upper right corner of this recording, this clip. And you'll see that uh, right now in my current settings, I'm averaging 30, 32, 35 different planes. I'm flying the 747, the Foca DR1, the Vertigo, the T45C, and they all seem to be getting about the same. Now this one is a little slower. This is the 747 taking off from JF. Uh, no, LaGuardia, I'm sorry, I, I took off from LaGuardia this time for all of these flights and then flew around New York City itself and then above it and so forth. And you can see now that we're up above and away from the airport, I'm actually getting frames uh, around 30. And that's what I'm getting here as I'm flying over the city. I know it's a little bit hard to see. I don't know, I'll have to look to see if there's a way to change the color. But I'm getting 29 right now flying over New York City and I got some quality graph, I got my quality up pretty good for most of this as you can see. So the other really nice feature is that you can actually access this menu while you're in virtual reality and you have the NIS scaling settings and the FSR scaling settings. They are independent of each other and so they affect it differently depending on which one you have turned on. So I've not played with them enough yet to know which is the better of the two. So look for a video coming up with some experimentation going on. Just when you thought you had all the settings right and changes. up to the Empire State Building. I'm looking for King Kong. I don't see any giant monkey hanging off the top of the building, so I guess I'll just move on. Now this is the Vertigo, another community plane uh, from Flight Sim TO. Really, really nice thing has uh, some serious power. It's a six blade prop. It actually uses jet fuel and this thing can climb at 12,000 feet per minute. So it has some pretty good speed to it. And you can see I'm getting right now 27 frames going through the buildings. 28, 24. And obviously this isn't typical flying. This is really stressing it. You wouldn't be going through buildings that 350 miles per hour normally but even so I'm getting 28 frames 27 frames here which means that if I was flying more normal and I didn't have to rush the frame loading I would probably get nicer here I'm getting I'm getting 31 over the water it's, I mean it drops to 24 here For typical flying and not racing through the city, it's more along the lines of 30 to 30, anywhere from 30 to 35. And so even without much tweaking and experimenting, it's pretty good. 
doing 26, 27 frames here, coming down through Central Park, back into the city. So I'll put a link in the description again. It's the OpenXR Toolkit Companion app now, which encompasses or includes the OpenXR NIS Scalar tool that I was using previously. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps. And as soon as I play with it some more, I'll have a video up maybe on some of the configurations and the settings that I'm using with the new